Hey guys, so for today's video, it's a wonderful morning and I felt like I want to make a wheat bread today and I do love baking it. So I'm gonna make two kinds of wheat bread for today. One is also wheat bread but one with a mix of a little bread flour and this one is pure wheat bread. And you can check out my link down below and all my bakings and yeah I just want to share this to you and I hope this will help you as well it's an easiest way to make bread in just one bowl hope you like this video keep on watching till the end so now I'm gonna put two tablespoon of brown sugar for each bowl Actually, if you don't want brown sugar, you can put honey if you like. It's really your alternative. And we're going to add one cup of warm water. Yeah, not, not boiling water. It's like a fever temperature. You just have to wait. If it's too hot, then I'm going to put one on this side too. And I'm gonna put the other one here. Actually, you can put milk if you like, uh, fair water, you know, or low fat milk is okay too. This is the instant active dry yeast that I've been using, and so far I've been loving using this. And if you have other suggestions on what other active dry yeast that I could use, please do comment down below. So now, you can see it's almost like just the right temperature. I'm gonna put ready now the active dry yeast. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of dry yeast. So just have to wait for seven minutes until it becomes frothy. Just wait. You can see there's already coming up and there's a little froth but I just have to wait for just about five to seven minutes and I'll show you how it looks like Wow look okay you can see all it's very frothy actually by with this kind of look, it's already okay. You can start putting the other ingredients together because it will rise more. They're very good. You're very good today. So here I'm gonna put pure wheat flour and here I'm gonna put wheat flour still but with a little, uh, little bread flour only. But it's still wheat flour. But here you can, I'm gonna put pure all wheat What's up? One. Yeah, I'm putting here all the wheat flour now. It's two and a half cup of wheat flour. More frothier. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put two cups of wheat flour and a cup of bread flour. And next, I'm gonna add half teaspoon of salt. No, it's frothy now. And this is the one I'm using for the iodize for the salt. I, there's a lot of brands, but this is the one I've been using. It's frothy now. This is so far I preferred using the oil, this one, and helps me a little bit in using this one. It feels lighter when you eat the bread. Uh, you could still use the or the other oil, vegetable oil or anything you like, but this is what I prefer using. So I'm gonna add two tablespoon for each bowl. egg another one for the other bowl second bowl and now I'm just gonna use this spatula to start mixing everything actually I just love baking since I was 13 years old 
and you know it's it's nice to share some ingredients to all of you and I hope you like also don't forget to if you like this uh, kind of video please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I do I do vlogs I do tutorial food vlogs travel so yeah so you know you, do, you can do anything your kids can do it anybody can do it it's just for the warm water just guide the kids how to to prepare it second one also so I'm just gonna mix it and I'll show you later would look like and it's just easy just put it in one ball and I just and then what I do is I cover it you can use a plate cover and I put a towel like this just to cover it up and also for the other one as well so I wait for about usually I wait about 45 minutes to an hour but if I'm in a rush I can do it I can just wait for 30 minutes and let it rise to just to release the carbon dioxide that's what the reason why you do that and I'm gonna cover on the other side as well and just wait for one hour just for uh, and then later I'll show you how it look like Time's up. Uh, one hour has passed. Now I'm gonna see what happened. Oh, can you see it, it doubled the size? And let's see the other one. Whoa, look. So now I'm gonna pop it up. Actually, you can do it the second time if you like. See, it's going back to where it should be. And this one too. But this one, I can already put it on a tray. Just have to add some bread flour or something to roll it up. I'll show it to you. So now I place bread, some bread flour, just so that it won't stick. And already place a wax paper. So here I put placed the from the bowl. I place it over here. Now I'm gonna start to knead a little bit and just divide it so here is actually how it looked like when I divided into two and actually I didn't really need it much you can use just a spatula and divide it you know because if you need it too much the bread will harden so I usually don't need it that much let it sit for 30 minutes more because it will rise get bigger okay, 30 minutes starts now so now i'm setting up my oven at 375 fahrenheit so now i'm placing it in the oven now gonna bake it for 25 minutes if you want 30 minutes to roast it make it more brown it's all right too for 25 minutes Ta Finishing touch of my wheat bread. This is pure wheat bread and this is wheat bread also a portion of bread flour. It's really good. You could add you know, sauce to dip. Half of this. I put half of this. Extra virgin olive oil. Half of balsamic vinegar. Also use portion of basil so this is what I bake at home and so far my my family loves it actually from the oven I tap it you can hear you could hear the the tap sound and I also look at the bottom see it's brown pretty much and it's done now I'm gonna start cutting Okay, so we're gonna cut. This is the wheat bread. Wow. So ganda. Wow. Whoa. Oh. It's 
that's about it so i hope you like this video guys do share this recipe to your friends and family it's really good and it's fresh from the oven you can make it on your own mm. thanks for watching guys and thank you once again for watching till the end and if you'd like to see all the complete recipes detailed i'll put down the link down below and i'll see you on my next video don't forget to subscribe